Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for my second video ever. This one was a fun one since moving from Wisconsin to Los Angeles. I have had the most amazing time finding great places to eat, great places to drink. However, one thing that I hadn't found yet was a bar that felt like home and where you could get a drink for less than $22. So I kind of made it my personal mission to find the best dive bars here in LA with extensive research on Yelp, Facebook, Instagram. I found the five best dive bars here in Los Angeles. And because I'm a woman of the people, I decided to go tour each of them to give you guys an honest opinion of what I thought about them and let you know how much the drinks were. So without further ado, let's head out on the bar tour. We just got to the first dive bar and first impressions off the bat, interesting location. We're like halfway between Los Angeles and Santa Monica and it's in a strip mall next to Chase Bank. I'm not really sure, but we will see. Apparently they have $6 well drinks. That's the rumor. So let's see if it's true. Just finished at the first place lost and found. So the drink total was $7 for a vodka 7-Up. Pretty good price, definitely a strong drink, so definitely worth the money. When it comes to ambiance of the place, super divey, but in the best way. Not dirty, not gross. A cute place, definitely a local crowd, and something different about a dive bar versus like, why are you laughing? Oh my God, there's people. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm so nervous, okay. <laughs> Uh, something about this bar like dive bars versus like very typical LA places is within the first five minutes of sitting down I made two friends people sitting next to us just very open to chat open to welcoming new people definitely locals of the bar but welcoming us in and free donuts and free donuts and all in all I would say I would rank the interior of this bar probably like five out of ten it was cute on the inside, but it definitely wasn't anything to write home about. Drink price, I would say six and a half out of 10, because I mean, being from Wisconsin, I can get a, a beer for $2. So it was still a little on the pricier end, but not bad. And then just in terms of overall ambiance, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I would definitely go back and have drinks there. Everyone was so friendly, and I would love to go again on a Saturday to get free donuts. So loved this place, and let's go check out the next one. Just got to our second stop on the dive bar tour mom's in santa monica this is about a 10 minute drive from lost and found first impression again very random location we are just like in kind of a suburban neighborhood if you will in santa monica and then it's just kind of randomly there i think i'm very used to bars being like in the country not surrounded by apartment buildings and that's just what i'm used to so this is very different but I'm hopeful after the first stop that this is going to be really fun. And mom's signature thing is that they have like the cheapest drinks in LA, $5 happy hour from four to eight every day. So we're here and it's about five o'clock. And I'm really hoping that that $5 drink thing is true. Cause if so, this might be my new hangout. Let's go check it out. Loved that the drinks were so cheap. It was $5 for a vodka ginger ale, which is probably the best price that I've ever experienced here in Los Angeles on a drink. So that was a big win. However, the atmosphere was very different than any bar I've ever been in before. First of all, it was so dark that I could barely see when I walked in. So that was kind of bizarre. There were only three people in the bar when we got there. And then the fourth being the bartender. Uh, kind of a weird ambiance with it being so dark. I just felt very much like we were invading someone's space. The bartender was friendly, got us the drinks, but I just felt like the vibe, because there were so few people, but the place was so huge and dark, was a little bit weird, but the drinks were cheap, and they had a ping pong table, which was really fun, so we got to play ping pong. So in terms of like interior of the bar and how it looked, I would give it probably a three and a half, because I really didn't like that I couldn't see anything. It made me feel like uh, a little disoriented. And then in terms of drink price, I would give it like eight and a half out of 10, because $5 is a killer price. And then overall experience, I would say five out of 10. I'm not sure that I would 100% go back to this place. I guess if I was looking for cheap drinks, 
and a fun spot to play ping pong, that would be cool, but I don't know that it's worth the trek from downtown where I live to Santa Monica. So all in all, it was a good experience, and if you're looking for cheap drinks in Los Angeles, that is definitely the spot you wanna go. Now in Little Tokyo, our next stop is called The Mermaid, and I'm not sure that this would quantify as a, or qualify as a dive bar, but it says online when you search dive bars, this is a spot, and allegedly you can get a drink off the well for $7 here as well. So we're gonna check it out, see what it's about. Plus it's a themed bar and I think it's a tiki bar. So it's a tiki dive bar. I'm not really sure exactly what to anticipate going into this, but I'm pretty excited. about this one because I have not spent a lot of time in Little Tokyo and it's definitely hit or miss when it comes to bars and restaurants there. Uh, the parking situation was not ideal. You do have to pay for parking if you're going to park in their lot, but I was able to find street parking just around the corner, so not the worst thing ever. The ambiance of the actual bar itself was awesome. I'm not sure that this would classify as a dive bar specifically, but very much has that small, you know, secluded, intimate vibe. The bartenders were super sweet and the interior of the bar was so cool. They definitely have thought out the details from, you know, like a little window with the mermaid floating around. They had waves kind of projected on the walls. So you felt like you were underwater. The bartenders were so friendly. The drinks were $6 during their happy hour, which is from five to eight. So that was another big win. Uh, we also grabbed some food while we were here because they did have happy hour on their food and we were getting hungry at this point of the day. Plus, already we were three drinks in, so probably necessary to fuel up. In terms of the inside of the bar, I would give it like an eight and a half out of ten because it was so well decorated, it was adorable, it was clean, but it was still kind of dive bar hole in the wall. In terms of price and drink quality, I would give it seven and a half out of ten. I think six dollars is a great price, especially because in the ambience of the place, it felt like it should have been priced higher, so I appreciated it not being priced higher. And then overall experience, I would give this one a nine out of ten. This was probably my favorite stop on the whole trip just in terms of overall experience, just because it was so cute. But like I said, the only downside was the parking situation. So all in all, the Mermaid was definitely a great place to stop, definitely a dive bar I would recommend. And now we head to downtown Los Angeles. We are outside Bang Bang Room, about to cross the street. First impression, I like this location a little bit better than the other ones just because I feel like it's very obviously like a fun bar that you would want to enter. That being said, parking downtown is a nightmare in LA, so that was kind of a tough time, but I'm excited to see Room Around the Street. I think this one was $6 while drinks during happy hour, which goes from 5 to 8. So let's go check it out and see what it's about. like circus themed but definitely dive bar e here in downtown los angeles initial reaction was super cool inside right when you walk in they give you popcorn from a cute little stand everything is very well decorated on theme kind of similar to how mermaid was with the themes kind of going throughout the entire bar it was difficult to judge exactly how good this bar would be it's a saturday night it was around like 7 15 but there's some sort of event going on in downtown los angeles like a rick and morty themed event and the bar was obviously prepared for it because they were having drink specials, but they weren't prepared for it in terms of staffing. There was only one bartender and the poor girl could not keep up. She was doing an amazing job, never seemed overwhelmed, but we did have to wait like 20 minutes before we had someone talk to us to get us a drink, which is definitely not an ideal situation. And then when I looked it up, I thought I saw that they were $5 well drinks. But tonight when we went, they were $7 well drinks, which was weird because the Rick and Morty special drinks were $6. In terms of how the bar looked on the inside, I would give this like a seven and a half out of 10. It was very well done, loved the interior. Everyone was dressed to theme, loved the free popcorn when we walked in. Uh, in terms of drink price, I'm kind of bummed about the whole drink special and then having to pay more than the drink special thing, but that's just me being bitter. Uh, so I would rank it the same as I did for Lost and Found can't remember what that is. I think I said seven out of 10. And then in terms of overall experience, I would give this one 
probably a three and a half out of 10 just because the service was so terrible. I definitely think going back here would be something I will try one time just to see if on a different day with not such a crazy event going on, it would be better. Uh, but of all of the bars, this was the worst service that we received. Granted, it was a little bit later at night, but the fact that they were understaffed isn't their fault, but also kind of is their fault. So would give it another chance, but not my favorite in terms of service. So then we trekked down the street, walked our way down to the next bar in downtown LA. So now we're at Slipper Clutch in downtown LA. Less than a 10 minute walk from Big Bang Room where we just were. First impressions, great location. Great location, love the location. Kind of fun, it seems more like a micro brew type vibe even though it's a dive bar, so I'm excited to see what's inside. called Slipper Clutch. This came up on a lot of search results when I was searching dive bars. They said that they had great drink specials, $6 well drinks, $7 well drinks. It was kind of mixed reviews, but I was willing to give it a try. And it was not the spot. I ended up paying $15 for a vodka ginger ale, but they didn't have ginger ale, so she gave me ginger beer. And then I think she then charged me for a Moscow Mule, which is not what I ordered. And then when I got the drink, the ginger beer was so strong that I couldn't even drink it. So I had to actually go back up to the bar and get a second drink, uh, which I am not someone to do. I love ginger. I love ginger beer, ginger ale, something I drink all the time, but it was so bad. I don't know if maybe they brew their own ginger beer, so it was stronger, but all in all, the drink was disappointing. The price was disappointing. They had a private event going on, so we couldn't really see the whole bar. The back bar itself was very cool. It had kind of a micro brewery feel to it, uh, but I wouldn't consider this a dive bar at all, even though on every search result it comes up as a dive bar. This was kind of a disappointing end to the dive bar tour, especially because we started off so high at these great first two spots. The third was the best of it. I feel like it just kind of went downhill from there. Uh, in terms of the bar aesthetic itself, it's kind of hard to give it a rank because like I said, there was a private event going on in the back, so I wasn't able to see the whole place. But I would give it probably five out of 10. It was nothing special, not my favorite. And then in terms of drink price, I would give this one maybe a one out of 10. It was so expensive for a really crummy drink and I felt like I had inconvenienced the person when I ordered it. And then in terms of overall ambiance, I would give this a three out of 10, but there was nothing about it that I felt was super exciting, especially considering downtown LA has so many wonderful spots to go, especially if you're already willing to pay $15 for a drink. So that was the last bar, that was my final review. Thank you all for coming along with me on this super fun bar tour. We did this all in one Saturday, which I have to say is pretty impressive. The traffic wasn't too bad, we made it work. And I will say, I didn't drink five drinks, I drank like two and a half drinks because I split with the person that was with me. So I guess that makes it a little bit better. Either way, it was a lot of fun to do this. And if you're interested in more videos like this, comment below and let me know what else you wanna see. There's so many great places in LA and I loved the opportunity to go around and tour kind of one specific genre of things, if you will. So I'd love to do this again. Be sure to like and subscribe. This channel is just getting started and there's a lot more to come. So you wanna ring that bell to see what else I'm up to. Thanks and we'll see you next time.